Bryce Canyon by Sunita Apte. This is a nonfiction book with the essential question, what are some slow and quick changes to Earth's landscape and how can people slow these changes? Presented in three chapters. Let's begin. Chapter one, not exactly a canyon. The first thing you need to know about Bryce Canyon is that it is not a canyon. Even though it looks like one, it isn't. Canyons are made by rivers, but there is no river in Bryce Canyon. Look at the small picture. It shows the river in the Grand Canyon. The river wore away the earth and caused the Grand Canyon to form. Bryce Canyon was not formed by a river, but by rain and snow. Bryce Canyon is in the south part of Utah. It is an area of flat high ground. Long ago, this part of Utah was one big lake. The water slowly went away. It left behind dirt, sand, and many kinds of minerals. Over time, the dirt and sand became rock. Then the rain and snow came. The rain and snow wore away at the rock, making giant bowls in the rock. Inside the bowls, the rain and snow carved out shapes. A Bryce Canyon Hoodoo. Chapter 2. Hoodoos. Bryce Canyon is filled with beautiful towers of rock. The rock towers have many colors. These strange objects have a strange name. They are called hoodoos. A hoodoo is a tall rock shaped like a totem pole. Hoodoos are thick in some places and thin in others with a big knob on top. A hoodoo can be the size of a person or the size of a 10-story building. What made the Bryce Canyon hoodoos? Over time, water can change rocks. Rain gets into cracks of the rocks at Bryce Canyon. When the weather gets very cold, it causes the water to freeze. When water freezes, it takes up more space. The ice pushes against the rock and makes the cracks bigger. As the ice melts, the water flows into other cracks in the rock. It freezes again and cracks the rock some more. In Bryce Canyon, water freezes and melts, freezes and melts, freezes and melts. All that freezing and melting make the cracks in the rocks grow. Pieces of the rock start to fall off. The pieces can be as small as pebbles, the size of a lunchbox, or as big as cars. Chapter 3. From Flat Ground to Hoodoo Another way water changes rocks in Bryce Canyon is by slowly wearing them away. Hard rains fall in the summer. This causes bits of rock to dissolve or mix into the water. As it moves, the water carries the bits away. Each rock is made of both hard and soft material. The softer rock wears away first while the harder rock stays in place. So at first there is a high flat land, then water wears away parts of the land and leaves walls. Rain and snow then work on those walls, making holes in them. The rain and snow slowly make the holes bigger. The walls become rows of hoodoos. Sometimes hoodoos fall down, leaving one tall hoodoo to stand alone. Look at the picture. You can see all the steps of how hoodoos form. High flat land, wall, window, hoodoo. The Aquarius Plateau, Bryce Canyon. There are hoodoos in many places, but Bryce Canyon is special. More hoodoos can be found in Bryce Canyon than anywhere else in the world.